There is a mapping revolution happening right now. Uh, the entire industry is changing, and it's actually fueled by uh, three different, I'm gonna drop this here. It's fueled by three different factors. Uh, number one, smartphones. Everybody over here has a smartphone device in their pocket, I'm pretty sure of that. In fact, uh, last week, there was a very interesting statistic uh, in one of the popular uh, venture uh, uh, blogs that said that uh, about, by 2020, 80% of the entire adult population of the entire world is going to have a smartphone in their pocket. Uh, go to the next one. Number two, cloud services. So pretty much everything that powers your smartphone is a cloud service. Whether you're sharing uh, photos with somebody, sending a message to a friend in your favorite uh, you know, social network, or whether you're sending an email, it's all powered by the cloud. And number three, uh, open data. We keep hearing about open data, open data, open data, the open data movement, right? The idea that uh, certain data should be freely available to everybody. Um, and organizations are very basically starting to realize that when they open up their data sets, when they share it out with other people, that very interesting things come out of that, right? Like you start uh, you know, mixing the data sets, you get very interesting insights, amazing visualizations. and uh, more often than not, all that open data has some important geographic component to it. So when you look at all these three things at the intersection of that, that's where you find uh, Amigo Cloud. Uh, Amigo Cloud is a mobile and cloud GIS platform, a mapping platform. Uh, the idea that the goal of Amigo Cloud is basically to help bring uh, mapping to the 21st century. And so when most people think about maps, they say, oh, Google Maps. But you know, we've been seeing the other presentations. Like maps, mapping data is much more than that, right? Uh, it's very common that a friend comes and asks me, OK, so what is it that you're doing with mapping data? And the best thing that I can do is show them and talk about how some of our customers are, and, and our users are using uh, the Amigo Cloud platform. So mapping data can help you go and visualize, take an iPad and visualize all your geospatial data in a standard iOS or Android device so that if you're going out on the field and, and actually doing a hole, that you don't run into this, right? Like, so you actually can see exactly where the pipes are. Uh, uh, mapping data can also help you go out and collect a whole bunch of GPS data points so you can do environmental analysis around projects like the Keystone Excel pipeline, right? The state of Montana has uh, been standardizing the past few months in using Amigo Cloud as its, uh, as its main data collection uh, platform. Uh, and you can do all kinds of other things, right? Like some customers are going out and collecting data about signs, collecting data about uh, uh, fire hydrants at high precision, 30 centimeter precision. Um, and you know, just basically anything that is a geospatial asset out uh, in, in, you know, out in the real world, you can collect it with Amigo Cloud. So, uh, you know, in, in the case where you have actually disasters, you know, people are going out and you can collect areas that have been affected with offline support. Take all your GIS mobile data in your phone and take a photo of it, mark the areas where something has happened. That way, we're actually improving the workflow uh, of data collection of, of what has been damaged out on the field. And so resources uh, can get to the right place and actually save lives in a way. Um, but what's not immediately obvious for some people is that there are other things that you can do once you get the data into a cloud GIS service, right? In this case, what we're showing is uh, the drive time distance that you can get from starting from a particular location. How far can I go if I drive? But you know, you can grab that and compare it to uh, other things like, okay, from the same location, how far can I walk? Or perhaps, how far can I go if I'm you know, using a bicycle? Or how far can I go if I'm using light rail? Right? Like you can start using transportation data. How far can I go if I'm using a bus? There you go, bus. Uh, or uh, how far can I go if I can combine any of these uh, transit uh, methods, including bicycles or whatever it is, and, and so you get very interesting analysis data out of that. We've been working with VTA in, in a project like this. Um, they started getting really excited about this. And in fact, what we started doing, we didn't stop here, actually. We went ahead and started exposing 
the real-time location of all their bus data. We get about 400,000 records every day of real-time bus location, and we're starting to do some very interesting things. And at the end of the day, uh, we can grab all the GIS that data that they have and expose it out in a data portal. Um, what, what is interesting to this is that it literally takes three clicks in Amigo Cloud to create a full open data portal, right? That enables you to export all the data in 18 different formats. That's like completely uh, insane. It should, data portals shouldn't take you like, you know, six months to create. It should be two clicks. Um, really quick, so I know that I'm running out of time. Uh, this is a project with, that we're doing with a company in India. They're basically uh, replacing $6,000 devices with uh, $300 devices. They're being able, it's all powered, the software is powered by Amigo Cloud. They're finally able to go out into the field and collect data about parcels for the very first time. Um, and uh, this is our team in San Francisco. We're a distributed team, or actually more than this. We go all the way from Seattle, all the way down to uh, Peru. And, and so we've been thinking about these problems, these mapping problems for a very, very long time, for decades. And uh, we share something in common, which is basically our love for maps. And we want to be able to help and bring this mapping revolution back to everybody. So if you're actually interested in like, finding out a little bit more, I know everybody's tired, so as soon as we're done, everybody's going to go. But you know, grab a card, talk to us. We really want to connect with you. We want to understand how you're using maps. And uh, thank you. That's it.